Hey everybody, Moo here. We're back and we're going to be doing the SL6 gameplay videos from Mike and Sully. We're going to be starting with Mike first. There's really not much more I can really tell you about him. You already know what he's all about. He's a giant green eyeball. He clears horizontally. That's really all there is to it. 5 to 4 to coin booster are enabled as always. Let's just jump straight into that gameplay. Alright, we go Mike SL6. See what he's all about. Come on, give me a tab bubble. There it is. And the one mic we needed to get that skill charged up, get back to the fever time, go back up to 56 seconds. 38 chain, nice. That was good. That's the key to this game. If you want to get back into fever time, the moment it expires, that's really all you gotta do. Because Essentially, the way it works out is for every five seconds of gameplay, you get five second time extension. So if you start doing that right at 60 seconds, it's going to give you exponentially better results over the course of the entire 60 second game time clock, right? So just focus on that. And once you really get in the feels for it, like you'll know exactly just you, you don't even have to think about it. You just know like how many mites in you're kind of short and whether it's worth risking. You know, like, so you, you just get back in there right away while you're still making chains and fluidly using the ability so it doesn't look like you're actually waiting for it, you know? So like the, the chain animation ended right when fever time expired. So now we got like right back in there. Boom, popped another one. This game is gonna be like about 4,500 base coin, I think, around there, based on uh, the frequency of Mitesum that we're getting, which is actually quite bad for Mike, but hey, this is a, uh, educational video we're not trying to break any world records here tonight maybe next time who knows i gotta work for a living you know what i mean i can't spend like seven eight hours a day playing this game we're gonna pop the bubble boom get back in there use the skill <sighs> I want to use the skill to hit the mic. That way we get like a 40 chain, presumably. 38, okay. Because um, I can't, I don't want to risk getting nothing, like going for a time bubble. I'd rather just get the coin at this point. There's only 10 seconds left in the game anyways. So a time bubble isn't going to help tremendously at this point. If you get them early on, then your fever time extensions are going to be way better as a result, right? Because like... It's just the nature of how it works, right? So, but at this point, with like a couple seconds left in the game, I'd rather just use the skill, get as much coin as I can, and um, yeah, five thousand base coin for a pretty bad game with Mike, I gotta say. And I'm talking as you know, talking and playing this game at the same time is not easy, guys. Like, I generally like to focus on what I'm doing, you know, like, see what, where did some are landing, maybe calculate the odds of getting some that I need to make a you know, yeah, all that stuff, you know? So, I'm happy with this result, all things considered. Anyways, Mike, super good. You can easily get 6,000 plus base point with him. Um, just the nature of the game again. Make sure you get back into those few times as quickly as you can. Uh, if you see a long enough chain to go for a time bubble, go for those. They're going to be huge, especially if you get them early on. Because obviously, if you have more time on the clock to begin with, then every five second re-entry into fever time is going to make it so that you can get even more of those five seconds as the game progresses, right? As you get close to the end, like if you have 10 seconds left in the game, Getting a two second time extension from a time bubble is not going to be as big unless you're playing Cinderella where you can literally regrow the time back to like 100 seconds or something with her for like 10 seconds. But every other Tsum Tsum doesn't have that luxury. So 
if you, that, that's why the time booster is actually worth it for Jedi Luke because those five seconds, essentially, since you stack it to 65 seconds for the game clock to start with, for him in particular, you're gonna get like so many more fever time re-entries that the cost of buying that booster is actually worth it. I know I went off on a tangent there on a video that's meant for Mike, but I hope that helps you guys out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. See you guys next time.